There we go. Yep, everything has been set up, so yeah. The map is gonna be once again the Tabula Rasa. A map which you have already seen quite a few times in this tournament. But this time, in a brand new setting, as we can see, that the teams are actually gonna be... Well, move towards the other side. It's gonna be North versus South instead of being the West versus East. So, how do you feel about this change? Uh, I think there's a potential, uh, quite a fun drop you could do with this setup. Um, do you see the plateau that's uh, next to um, the AI for both teams? Yeah, the one which has like been actually pinged on the by the players. Yeah. The one with the so uh, Yeah, so I I've played this quite a few times in TMM, and I like to do a really cheesy drop with engineers to steal with that reclaim. See if I can make something happen. I'll be like, be good if I can see some players uh, take that. Versus the AI, we'll see if that happens. I mean, you don't even have to gamble, because you can basically steal it and then just run away. You are already ahead by just getting the mass. No need for factories or anything. Do you want to share me your uh, view in Discord so I can see what you're seeing? Otherwise, I might be talking about something completely useless for the stream. I mean, I can go and do that. Just give me a second for a Discord fast to go here. So Zlow and Arch are going to meet in the middle, and they're going to start tickling each other over the reclaim pretty soon. Yes, that is true. I mean, it's basically one of the staples for Tabula Rasa. The big scaffold over the mid reclaim. Because when we look at just how much is available, then there is, what, 15,000 reclaim here? So yeah, it's understandable that both players are actually going to go in there. Also making their, his way down is the Wreck. He's coming into the middle party. Unknown choosing not to do that though. He's actually going to make his way to a Form X expansion rather than go for the the uh, reclaim, which is kind of an interesting choice. Not going for that easy reclaim outside of uh, Slow's base. I mean, it's actually quite well safe, so I don't think there is any need to actually go and fight over it. And if you actually go and secure this position here, then you can actually go and start building up your T1 army to actually go and contest other places on the map. Especially as you can actually go here and from this position you can expand outwards versus the AI and actually try to crush the enemy AI players. So if you look on the bottom you'll see FTX is actually doing that drop cheese onto the plateau that I, uh, I said about just in the, the preamble to the game there. He's got four engineers. Uh, there's no units from the AI down here in the corner, so he's going to probably be able to uh, cheese quite a lot of the reclaim here. That's going to be great for his team. That's a lot of extra mass. Oh yeah, although it seems like he's going to go and steal a reclaim from his own AI instead of doing it from the opponent. But I guess this is what he was doing for the past few games, so I really understand why he want to go and repeat this. After all, it's a very nice mass boost for him, especially as the air player. But yeah, we have the first bombers coming out, and yeah, ah, oh, it seems like Unknown is not gonna kill even a single T1 engineer with his bomber, which is horrible. I guess he would get more value out of it by just trying to go and kill the enemy reclaim here, on this position. And also, we can really see a nice team play where FTX Commando is gonna go and give some engineers to the wheelie, so he can actually also go and steal the reclaim from the AI. Although, the wheelie is just unaware of it. As on the mid lane, we can see that there is gonna be a 2v1 action. As both Zlo and the Vrek are basically cancelling the ever living shit out of Arsim, who is just stuck between the walls and T1 point defenses. He is gonna Yeah, that is a non consensual three way for sure in the middle there. Yeah. Poor Arch in that Aeon com. Only 10,000 hit points on there. He's gonna have to run into the water. Yeah, 3000 is not enough, and with the Vrek and Zlo actually just circling around him, it seems like the man is gonna be stuck. Though thankfully, Farmselt is gonna go and join the fray here, with his own ACU. So we will see how is it gonna actually go and... turn out. And never FTX mind! has another drop! Exactly, I just saw it, and it's going for the other reclaim field. That is a really nice play. I really like that.
Yeah, it have been pinged by the opponent team. But it seems like not a single... No, never mind. It seems like one of the AIs have a bomber ready. And while FTX is gonna go and steal a decent amount of reclaim, it's yeah, not FTX really gonna be worth is, it. Uh, FTX is top of the reclaim of all players right now. Probably mainly due to that, so... I mean, yeah, there is like 3,000 per plateau, so that is a lot of mass available. But it seems like the top team AI is actually doing kind of worse compared to the right side one. But with Unknown grabbing the gun upgrade on his ACU, it might actually go and change the game a little bit, as the bottom side team might be forced to go and help out their AI forces. Though it seems like Jessica AI is already gonna start building the T2PDs, so... Okay, it seems Let's like... Let's go, Jessica. Jessica's exactly. got double gun and oblivion turrets. Yeah, it seems like she's all ready to intercept the unknown ACU. Meaning yeah. that the gun upgrade might be a mistake. But the big problem is actually what is gonna go and happen on the middle. As we can see, the Vrekens Law, the Russian Magician and the Weak Man actually just pushing the Willy and Artsim cut back. And now they're turning their eyes at Donny Noob, who is trying to go and scramble and get the gun upgrade ready. Yeah, he's rushing that gun against the Auroras. That's pretty smart if he gets to finish it. Oh, but the bombing run on the engineers. No! Oh, only that could have been so tasty. Oh, he never mind. The, power. the fourth one actually came in. So, it seemed like the power and engineers were actually deleted. But the problem is that not only Vrek and Zlo are here, but also double AI comms are available. And they both have the gun upgrades, meaning that the wheelie and Insidious Noob might actually have to go and start running away. As yeah, it's... the wheelie could be in trouble here if he gets blocked by the troops. There's a lot of Auroras. And blocked he will be by a single Aurora from Donny. If you look on the bottom right hand side, Unknown is in trouble. He's getting bullied by both AIs with shields. He was quite low there for a second. He's trying to use Jesters to uh, stop it. But yeah, the AI already have the MAA available, not to mention a single flag. And it seems like Donino might actually be sacrificed, or no, never mind. The Vrek is actually together with Zlogana pull back. But Unknown actually pushing in further and further might be a really bad idea. Yeah, I think he could be in trouble real quick here. He's down into the red, 2,400 hit points there. He doesn't have any tech, that's the problem. Unknown doesn't have T2 anywhere on his factories or anything. All he's got is this gun ACU. I mean, that might be enough to go and buy some time versus the spam, and the Zlo is actually gonna go and finish the T2 switch on his land factories, as we can see on the top side, so yeah. Zlo can basically send in a few blazes and stabilize the position for unknown, as the AI on the other flank is basically seeing blood going for the ACU belonging to Arch. And the AI is also gonna go now and bomb the ever living shit out of unknown. Janos. So yeah, action happening on all sides. And I really don't agree with this HQ upgrade for Unknown. It's just way too close to the front line. Yeah, it's pretty vulnerable there, I'd say. I don't know why he didn't choose one in his base, but he, he must have a reason for that. I mean, I guess he's hoping for a fast Tito switch to basically grab the... Yeah, I think, he wants, a, I think he wants something. the Cerberus turret as soon as possible. Yeah, but the AI is gonna go and overcharge the T1PD, and with the Mungus coming out for the Tomandi AI, it seems like Anno is gonna have a really hard time staying alive on this position. He might even be forced to go and cancel his stealth upgrade. So, something interesting is if you look at uh, Ocarina and Keiko, the... Uh... The uh, Clown Crushers AIs, they have built TMLs in their bases. The uh, the other AI has not done that. So Purple and Cyan on the left-hand side of the map, they have made TMLs. They've got three TMLs, and they are launching them down here at uh, FTX's base. Mm, wait, did they launch it already? No, I can see that. Yeah, there's one in the air. Is it going to impact with the terrain? 
Oh, it's so close. No, it gets no, over it the mountain. No, it will fly over, but there is a Vulcan already, and... Ah, it's outside of range. Just barely, although it seems like the second missile is gonna go and connect with the molten range. Just imagine if they went for the for the for the uh, the wheelies ACU. He was under six thousand hit points then. Oh, he actually yeah. could have been one shot by the AI. And yeah, it have that already have happened. happened. I have already seen AIs use forty ML launchers to go and snipe an upgrading ACU. So yeah, it's possible. But I yeah. am rooting for the AI, by the way. You know, people who go to watch like a motor car race or like a motorbike race, and they actually secretly are there just so there's a big crash that they want to see. Exactly. I, I kind of am rooting for the AI. I kind of want to see someone get dunked by the AI. Well, Anno is certainly getting dunked by AI, as you can see for now. As he's really he's got having stingers trouble. On him, right? Yeah, stingers all over him right yeah, now. Yeah, but they're gonna get shot down by the forces from. Yeah, they actually belong to Unknown. But yeah, the man had to go and call the help from Zlo, as you can see Aurora's actually going in from the left side, joining his ACU. FTX also looking dangerous. He's got a blob of gunships that he's parked in the middle of the map, waiting for an opportunity. Uh, Zlo is pretty exposed right now. That is true, but, but he can actually still just go and dip into the water, so yeah. That puddle is gonna save him from any kind of sniper attempt. But the big problem is gonna be that FTX Commando is actually a tad bit behind when it comes to the T3 air. As we can see that Triv is already pumping out the T3 ASF. And it seems like we have finally caught up with the replay because we can see the lags The happening. wheelies, whoa, he just uh, managed to uh, intercept one of those TMLs, but he's been losing more structures in his base to the, uh, the TML of... Uh, Ocarina, the uh, the AI in the top left, and uh, and Keiko. So they've got two thousand mass killed of the wheelies base on their uh, TMLs, which is kind of painful. Uh, not just two thousand. It's two thousand per TML, so it's four thousand yeah. in damages. But yeah, it seems like Farmslet yeah already hit the T3 position, and Arno is going to be the one who's going to get actually sniped by the gunships belonging to. FTX yeah, Commando. That's In come the ASF for, I guess that's Trith. Yes, it is, but the problem is that there is a bunch of MAA available that flag the Skyboxers and other units for the AI. And why should. Defending Swiftwinds as well. Unknown's gonna get away with that. Yeah, although he still lost quite a lot of HP, so he might have to go and watch out for any. Meanwhile, the wreck just killed the TMD in the wheelie's base with the uh, Tech 1 bombers. Ah, uh, there is another TMD, so yeah. A single one is not gonna be enough. He would have to go and snipe all of them. Another TML here, what's that gonna hit? It's gonna kill an upgrading T1 mass extractor, so yeah, not that big of a loss. That is really annoying though. Oh yeah, annoying for sure. But could have been much worse if it hit a fully upgraded T2. And yeah, Devrek is actually supporting the AI with his own forces. As we can see the pilots mixing in with the Aeon forces from Ocarina. And Artsink had actually grabbed the shield upgrade to actually go and bully the enemy units a little bit. Unknown is getting great value with his ACU here, by the way. Up to 4,000 mass killed with his ACU, just overcharging these clumps of units. But the wheelie is positioning his Tech 3. Uh, he's got a whole bunch of Titans and some shields here uh, to cut off Unknown. He needs to be really careful not to overcommit because he'll get uh, ganked from behind. So to I speak. mean, while that is true, I still don't think that wheelie have enough units to actually go and crush the blazes. Belonging to Zlo, as we can see. I think the Titans will eat the Blazers here, no? Uh, yes, they do, but not in these numbers. Like, there is just, what, 20 Blazers and few Obsidians in the mix, so yeah, yeah. Quite a three few. Titans is not gonna be enough. But the good thing is that the Titans can actually just go in, kill a few units, and then basically debug. How are we doing on Eco for the two teams, then? 
Team 2 is ahead by about 50 mass, given uh, kind of over the last sort of 10 seconds or so of uh, doing it, but it's pretty close. Yeah, but when it comes to the, the recoil aim, they're actually both on the same, so yeah. Hmm. The players with the most income are the AIs, by quite a considerable amount actually, followed by the wheelie on 133 mass and then the wreck on 105, so around 100 mass each. Unknown, unfortunately, so still down on, thir on 30, and Arch Simcat on 23. That is absolutely savage. He's still losing those mexes in his base to that TML. Yeah. Huh? Where is the TML going? That's going all the way down back into FTX's base. What? Oh lord. Oh, <laughs> oh I know why. The Volcano just doesn't have enough range to actually go over Correct. and catch the missile. For the whatever volcano the doesn't have quite enough range. But he's seen it. FTX saw that. His, his PGN got left on 200 hit points. Imagine yeah. if that blew up and crippled his air. That would be hilarious. Imagine if that was actually a Cybran one. That would be horrible. Yeah, absolutely. With that less hit points. And other TML also going in there. And yeah, we can even see that Ooh. the volcano is... Okay, it managed to intercept one of them. So I guess it's kind of an RNG issue. Depending if the volcano can catch it or not. And like you said, Art Simcat is really having a bad time here. Yeah, he's basically reduced to being a run and gun ACU right now. The same as uh, Unknown. They're basically being sacrificed. Unknown is going down to 2,000 hit points, by the way. Yeah, it's it a whole like... bunch of fire. Yeah, the AI triads. is basically. Not only that, he's basically taking damage from the Mungus, which are basically microed against yeah. him very nicely. And the bottom AI also has a TML now. Uh, Pomondil, I don't know how you how you actually say that, but it's working on a fat boy, and he's got a TML with four thousand mass killed. You are right. It's brutal, brutal. He's working on two fat boys at once, which is uh, you know obviously an incredibly big brain play. So if one of them does get killed, obviously he still has the other one. Great Always play. Always good AI to have there. a backup plan. Yeah, backup fat boy. Exactly. If one fat boy isn't useless enough, double fat boy will fix it. But hey, it That's seems right. like the one on the top is gonna be finished way, way faster, considering it's actually being a team build by both of the eyes. Yeah, they're going double. Uh, the top AIs are going double GC. Bottom AIs are going double fat. Boy. And just as we are saying that, it seems like Mr. Arsimkat might be in trouble, or no, never mind. Uh, that army looks like it's mostly uh, flapjacks. The um, yeah. I zoomed out and I see Arm Secret basically encircled by the Vrek unit and I'm like, okay, is he gonna die or not? Oh, no, never mind. He's not dying. But uh, he actually is getting a very good value outside of his com, also 4,000 must killed. Yeah, that's good value for sure. And counting up, not to mention, he can actually grab some reclaim to go and repair his economy. Unknown is down to 2,000 hit points again. He's playing such a dangerous game. Six and a half thousand mass on But you know what I love? Look at the engines belonging to the wheelie. Building the walls and everything for the AI. What a team player. Helping his AI. That's how you go. Although, this well, is why uh, the AI might not take over the world. Yeah, but, the real world he, yeah but he's, he's gonna take friendly. the payment in the reclaim, as you can see. The engineers, two of them building the walls, and the other two are gonna go and suck up all of the reclaim which is left after the AI. So, uh, if you check out the Wheelie's ACU, he's just finished a TML upgrade, and uh, I think he maybe uh, has had enough of getting TML'd by the AI and might be trying to fire some back. I mean, that would be very nice to see. So we'll see what, he, what value he can get with that. This is a 16-17 minute TML on an ACU, so... Yeah, no, and it's going the, straight the for the fastest. base belonging to Vrek. Yeah. Because it seems like Vrek totally forgot about the TMLs. Zero TMD in a Rex base, so he is going to suffer for that. Yeah. The man told that's a he really was nice safe, pickup. being all yeah. in the box, but no, that's not true. That's a nice play, picking up that. You see your opponent's got a weakness, pick up the TML upgrade, exploit it. That's, that's really nice. Okay, it seems like he's actually aware of it. As he started rebuilding the Maxis, or... We will see. No, he's just building more T2 power still. 
Yeah, the wheelie could potentially... Uh, let me just check the range on that for you. Yeah, the wheelie is actually in range of the uh, T3HQ. So potentially could have killed the T3HQ with a few missiles there. That would have been devastating. Yeah. Although it seems like for now he's gonna go and try to shot down the T3 and... I mean the T2 Max is belonging to AI on the north side. Yeah, another nice pick up there. Do you see this? The, the AI is like, hey, stop reclaiming my dead units. <laughs> well, what can I say? <laughs> the wreck is a menace. The wreck, you BMing the AI, dude. Don't do that. <sighs> but yeah, the wreck is gonna go and take a few really good trade versus the forces belonging to Artsin Cut, who is perpetually stuck on the T2 stage due to not having any kind of economy available. Poor man, only 40 mass income at minute 20, but never mind, unknown, is even poorer, 35 mass income. <laughs> yeah, he's, he just finished his second T2 Max at 18 minutes, so uh, he's on the road to financial success. I mean, I'm it's quite sure he had more T2 Maxes, but you know what happened, the TML from AI. Mm. The thing is, he's still being risky with this ACU, but the AI has got sniper bots now, like... That, this is a little bit late to be doing this, I feel. Yeah, I mean, it's not even about sniper bots. The Mungus are already also getting quite good value on the ACU. With their, what, they have 37 and 34 range on the guns? So yeah, they can, yeah, as you can see, they can basically just outrange the ACU. Like, I really feel like Unknown should get the, um... He could go back into his little defensive ball here with his Tech 2 PD and his, his, um, his, his T2 RT and make the nano upgrade oh no the fat boy is oh no <laughs> oh the man dodge. is about to get he needs to dodge lord have mercy yeah he is about to get flat and even more as he's in a see, world of pain coming now. In. the ai just knows no chill no zero chill ai right there the only thing that's keeping him alive right now is that the fat boy is stuck on a t2p gen and uh, can't move forwards for some reason. Yeah, but it might be too late for him to apologize to the AI. Nice overcharge there, four mongies. That's a quadra kill. Yeah, but it's still not gonna amount to much because he's still like 1,500 mass away from the Veterancy upgrade. And with the massive area of effect barrage from the fat boy, it seems like the man is gonna go and die at any moment. Yeah. We won't interrupt this, but on the left-hand side, that purple GC is making its way down to Insidious Noob Space. Well, it sure is, but it's still quite a few moments away before it will reach the base, as the ACU from Unknown is stuck on 600 HP just dancing around. If only he'd gotten the nano upgrade a little bit earlier, I feel like he could have potentially sustained here. Yep, that's definitely true. 42 regen is just not enough to... Oh my lord, no. Nope. Ah. Hey boys! <laughs> Goodbye, we will miss you, my man. Glorious AI. Yeah, and who said that fat boy is weak? Just let it shell <laughs> out the enemy ACU and you will get your value back. But the big problem is now that there is a bunch of sniper bots coming in and install doesn't really have anything to go and answer versus them. Uh, Zlo is going for the heavy shield though, so he's going to be able to tank you with his own ACU. The problem is, uh, if you look at where he's positioned his PD, it's going to have real problems firing into that area because it's slightly down to terrain, but... He's going to need to deal with that, the sniper bots and the fat boy with his ACU probably, because he hasn't got much else. Even with their combined eco, he's still up only up to uh, 100. He's making, what's this, Serenities. He's making T3 Mobile Arties, so I guess he's going to try and maybe position them the other side of the cliff, get a nice indirect firing arc over onto the uh, the sniper bots. That's a pretty big brain plan. I mean, it's not even about that, because it's the Ion Artillery. You can actually micro it and just make it run around in circles. Yeah, but he doesn't want to get picked off by the fat boy, though. He needs that to put true. them somewhere where the fat boy can't hit them. Yeah, thankfully. It seems like Triff is going to go and respond with a few gunships, but I don't think four of them is going to be enough. 
as he's gonna get basically shot down in no time by the supporting flak and cougars, which are gonna go on the brrr, left hand side brrr. of the map. We got uh, the GC walked into a bunch of ravages. The wheelie spammed seven ravages. Don't see that in a normal game, but uh, yeah, he's got a whole bunch of ravages, and the GC is sitting in that uh, fire. Yeah, I don't know, it's actually gonna go and run away after being tickled just too much by the incoming Gatling fire. What else is it working on? What happened to the second GC? There we go, there it is. It's just to the right on the plateau. We've had one GC, yes, but what about second GC? Well, That's what the AI is planning. Well, thumbs up, he might just go and build even more ravagers. Yep. And he have quite considerable army of Percivals available, which are currently dying to Absolvers, which are dealing an amazing amount of damage. To well, he's got, a big, he's got a big block of shields here, so that's actually pretty big brain, I think, from Slow. Yeah. Especially since Arch went for a double shield comp, so those Absolvers are going to do loads of damage to his ACU if they start hitting him. Hey, I actually should talk him Slow. I guess this is one of your maxes, Zlo. Try to reclaim it faster next time. <laughs> I love the AI doing that. The AI getting BM'd by the AI is actually brilliant. Yeah, More and especially when it's that. your own teammate AI <laughs> BMing you. But uh, let's go yeah. and see what the fat boy is up. Okay, the second fat boy is also finished, and I think like it's gonna be even bigger problem compared to the two GCs. On the but other side. Look at the big brain plan, right? The GC the fat boy is trying to shoot those um it was trying to shoot the Serenities, now it's going for the base, but basically it couldn't hit the Serenities at all, yeah. but it's focused on them, so it's going to stay there forever. Which is, that's pretty good from a defensive point of view, he's using the terrain well. That's allowed the Wreck to bring his ACU and units in to, to try to defend this. Yeah, that's the Russian Magician for you. Oh my goodness, it seems like the, okay, never mind. For a second I, I mistook the positions. I, had I will give you games. a quick ASF count. So, uh, FTX has 63 ASF, and Trith has 45. So a 30% advantage for Team uh, 1 in ASF. The wheelie's actually hot-dropping T3 Engineers. If you check this out on the bottom under the map, he's actually hot-dropping Engineers down here. Yeah, I feel like he might transport. be actually trying to go and make some defenses or something versus the incoming Ooh, forces. Oh, he nearly got them sniped. Trith nearly sniped that. I mean, losing a few engineers wouldn't PD. be much of a problem. Yeah. But yeah, the fat boys are really getting sick value right now. The first fat boy already on 14,000 mass killed. The other one yeah. just joined the fray and the uh, Percival's the big army for the Freak is taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, Percival's don't really do that well against fat boys. They're so slow that they just can't really do anything. And uh, if that isn't bad enough for team two, uh, the AI on the bottom has finished a nuke launcher, so uh, that nuke is 50%, 40% loaded, kind of, and uh, I don't yeah. know where it's going to put that, but I can tell you right now that the wreck does not have an anti-nuke of any kind. Yeah, although it seems like the SML have just been pinged, so I guess they will try to grab the SMD some he time. He is and working yeah. on one. The wreck is basically rushing a strategic missile defense with everything in his base. Anyway, I'm not sure the that's going to be in time, though. I think that with this amount of engineers, he might actually go and pull it off. Especially as we will go and look at his factories. He stopped building units, and instead he's going all in on the T3 engineers to go and support yeah. the SMD. That's really smart. No, never mind. The man actually... Oh, no. He's going for a nuke. Have they seen... Let me swap to his view. They do know about the nuke. It's not pinged, but they, it is scouted. Yeah, the question is, does the AI know about the SMD? Because if the AI is unaware of the SMD, it's gonna nuke him anyway. No, the SMD wasn't scouted, so... Yeah. Oh, no, That's it's... probably where it's going. No, it's actually gonna get scouted, so yeah. AI will no longer nuke this position because the SMD have been finished. Look and at that AI scouting with the T3 scout plane. Imagine that. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. The AI have been doing much, much better when it came to the T3 Air Scouts compared to the human players in this whole yeah. tournament. Big facts right there. I think we can thank uh, 
Maudlin for that. He's put a lot of effort into the M28. I think we're playing on a brand new version of M28 that he just released today. Yes, he did. So, the uh, man was actually working between the each and every weekend of the Rainbow Cup tournament. Basically go and fix all of the bugs and improve the AI depending on what the players had problems with. What an absolute monster. So thank you very much, Maudlin. That's, that's fantastic. But yeah, the problem is that the left side AI is not doing anything with its GCs at all. Like we can no. see the GCs just walking in circles all the time. It didn't even make a nuke actually. I mean, I guess that is because it's feeling threatened by the enemy force. No, it's making the nuke. In just right behind the GC. On yeah, the it's also line. making mass fabs. I mean, that's good. It needs all the mass available. It have only 500 of it, so yeah, it could use a little bit more. But uh, it seems like the game is actually going really well for the bottom side team right now. As just yeah, the AI is doing well. Yeah. Just is for the wheelie game, actually has dropped some engineers next to his ACU. He's on an upgrade here. Let me just see if I can see what he's... Let me scroll back up the chat, see if I can see what he's doing. It's a Billy! Starting Billy Nuke. There we exactly. go, boys. Justice for the Billy Nuke. No, no, no. It's justice for Tele Billy. <laughs> yeah, but not Billy. he's not going to do Tele. <laughs> I mean, obviously, because, well, stuff happened, I guess. We will leave it at that. So, 25 minutes in, and uh, you should be, if you're a new player, remember, 25 minutes, if you're against people that are ecoing, you should be thinking about nukes. Trith has a nuke launcher, it's not loaded yet. The Wreck, he has a nuke launcher, it's not loaded yet. Both oh, of the yes, AIs I on the top also have nuke launchers. There are four nu nuke launchers for the top team loading currently, against one for the bottom team. I mean, that's Team Clown Crushers for you. Like, so, say uh, what you want, but basically in each round, at least once, Trif was trying to go and make a fast nuke, so yeah. But the big problem right now is gonna be this army from Arch Syncat, which is actually just... No, never mind, the AI is actually gonna go and nuke the base belonging to the Wreck. Oh my goodness, it seems like the AI is actually fully aware of when was the SMB yeah, built. Yeah, it counts when it sees it. It's a... Uh... How is the wreck going to... So he doesn't think he can load his SMD in time, so you he's going to no evacuate. No, he cannot, because he was building his own new gun, yeah. not assisting the SMD, which is at 75% done, so yeah. I don't know so how... Not only does he get nuked, but the uh, the AI uh, BMs him the whole time he's getting nuked. That's brutal. Yeah, and the man is now also going to go and lose even more of the units. Because what can I say? <laughs> Look at the chat. <laughs> the man is not happy at all about what just happened, but yeah. Let's well, be he honest. Played a, he played it a bit greedy. He he saw the nuke, he rushed the SMD, but instead of rushing the, the missile, he rushed the nuke himself, so... Exactly. I mean, greedy, I was 100% per sure he was actually gonna assist that SMD to finish it on time, yeah. but no. The man just went for the friggin' new counter of his own, and yeah, he paid the price. You know, I wonder what the weighting of ACU to base is in the new M28, because if you look at the bottom team's human players... Uh, Farms has just launched a Billy, by the way, but those three yeah, players I can are see very I can close see to each other. A, a, a large nuke dinner plate would actually fit over all three of those and wipe them out in one hit, so... I, yeah, I guess it could happen. This is actually a Giga Brain Billy Nuke, by the way. Onto all the T3 engineers. I can that's see really it's smart. just brutal. Yeah. It doesn't get all of them, but that was really smart. The gloves are coming off. Yeah, <laughs> even the AIs saying that the gloves are coming off. But yeah, even though we didn't kill all of the T3 engineers, it managed to go and kill the T3 pigeons, so yeah. It's gonna set back Vrek quite a lot. And with yeah, he's the... stalling. He's stalling three thousand seven hundred power, even with his teammates overflowing. So I, I don't think there's a lot of overflow on the team because he's stalling big time. And yeah, it seems like AI finally had enough of the Serenities. It made the Novak just to go and kill them. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the bottom seems... team AI is carrying hard. 
I mean, that's what's going to happen. AI, yeah, Top Team AI is working on one, two, two T3 RTs at the same time. Oh yeah, and they're all in the box, so they're gonna be kind of protected. Compared to the nuke that was actually built on the front line. Oh no, never mind, the other art is actually being built on the cliff, so yeah. Not sure about this Patao placement for the AI RT. But the big problem is gonna be in that the fat boys might actually... No, never mind, the fat boys are just busy killing the... T1 snoops and spirits from Zlov, who is just spamming them to keep the AI busy. Yeah, if you look at the move orders from those factories, those big zigzags that he's made from the factories, that's uh, that's going to keep those fat boys busy indefinitely, I think. So that's pretty smart play from him. Yeah, there is the reason I call him the Russian magician. The man just yeah. knows how to abuse the game. But look at it, another Telebili. This time going for the units belonging to the wreck. Yeah, that's a smart Billy as well. Onto the units, he knows where they're gonna go. And this is just bullying at this point. The Vrek just unable to catch a breath at all. FTX feeding mass to the wheelie, probably to reload that Billy, I guess. Might be it, or maybe they're building something else. As a bunch of wrestlers are gonna come in and swoop in from the AI to go and crash the base belonging to... Donny Noob. And FTX. Yeah, FTX a bit slow to respond there, but he's bringing all of his ASF. Will Trith be able to capitalize on this? Oh, he's moving, but I think it might be a bit late. I mean, he's still gonna go and catch the restaurants, so that should be fine, as Trith is actually a tad bit late on catching versus the FTX movement, so yeah, both air players being kind of slow, but the big problem is right now. But the Fat Boys, together with Arsync, are making a really good break for the base belonging to Zlaw. Yeah, the Wheelie has half a Novax as well, so he's really committed to this UEF I mentality. don't think it's gonna be even needed, because it seems like Zlaw is gonna go and charge in straight into a bunch of enemy Percivals. As Arsync is pushing harder and harder to go and buy some space for the AI. As we can yeah, see that the Zlo doesn't will... have enough overcharge capacity to actually kill the Percivals in one hit, which is a huge problem for him. Yeah, that is true. And a good thing about the push from Mr. Artsimkat is that it will actually allow the AI Fatboys to go and finally start coming closer. Yep, that's right. As we can see that the spirits are no longer being spammed. Another nuke being launched this time by... What? Well, Wow. I feel like that's going straight for the wheelie, you know? It sure is going straight for the wheelie, but the men have the transport ready. Oh, nice. He saw that one coming. Exactly. The man is not gonna get bamboozled this time around. But uh, Insidious Lu Noob lost most of his Oh, wait, 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 there. what happened? It also seems like the other nuke launched. Yeah, the other nuke launched at the same time. Grith has a lot of strats here. Uh, he brought Arch Simcat down into the hull damage. He took off all of his shield there. So the moment that FTX moved on the AI's restorers, Triff swooped in with the strats. He's doing it again. Although I don't Didn't think he will... Oh, bombs. he's gonna go and force the air fight, yeah? The AC is gonna stay alive, but the ASF are gonna go and now start exiting fire, but FTX is gonna go and recover in time, running away. As the base, the firebase belonging to Insidious Noob is actually getting demolished by the restaurants from the AI. Another Billy from uh, the Wheelie, but it just takes out some Percivals that belong to the wreck. Another nuke in the background, that's from the bottom AI. And this time going for the base belonging to Zlaw. Yeah, that's gonna cl clean Zlaw's base, basically. Yeah, we also have a few Spectre Gunships going for Arsene at ACU, so it seems like Triff is really trying his best to go and kill the man. But it seems like the third Atom is also not gonna be the charm. The Wheelie's got his satellite out over Triff's base, and uh, there are no shields in Triff's base, the nuke is exposed. Yeah, and also, the AI is also gonna go and deal some damage to it, so we have two Novaxes well, uh, harassing him. I think Trith has uh, GG'd there. 
that's going to be game one. Yep, it is. Eggs D and HH, so yeah. Like you said. Look at this giant formation of gunships from the AI in the bomb. Do you see that? Yes, I see it. Where's that? It just stingers. The stinger My force. Dude. The March of Valkyries is playing, blasting off full volume on them. AI diff right there, boys. Exactly, but it seems like Zloy is still not giving up. Even though <laughs> Triv have basically controlled his whole base and everything that belonged to him, so yeah. And there it but is. The question is, the question is, what could the top team have done to try to get build the AI SMD. to be more active? Well, yeah, build SMD would have been good, but uh, I feel like the play that Arch did, where he came in against the things that were resisting the Fat Boy and clean it out a little bit. If their top team, a Trift team, had managed to do that for uh, the GCs, they might have gotten to move in. The problem yeah. is that the wheelie really just bunkered down with that UEF defense mentality with all of the ravages right. under it. I mean, let's be honest, if not for this ravagers, the AI would basically just go in with its GC and delete the whole base, so yeah. That yeah. was a really good thinking by him. Like, otherwise, I don't think that this base would be still alive, because GCs would basically eat alive any kind of T3 and T2 units. So yeah, it seems like this is the game, and the scoreline is gonna be... 3 to 2 for the team Justice for Telebili, as we're gonna go and see if the next game have been hosted.